An increasing number of lost pets in the area are being returned to the wrong shelter, making it harder for owners to find them. Reporter Pafua Yang explains the steps you should take if you find a wandering pet. It's proof that we shouldn't underestimate these clever escape artists. Usually 500, a little more, are dogs, and then the remainder 300 plus are cats. Hundreds of lost pets a year are dropped off here at Pets Under Police Security, or PUPS. Any animals coming into us have to come through the police department. We cannot take in any animals directly from the public. PUPS is the contracted impound for seven cities. <laughs> Most dogs are usually returned to their rightful owner, but only 15 to 20 percent of cats are reclaimed. If pets aren't reclaimed in five business days, Bozer says they'll go to one of the approved rescue facilities where they can be adopted. We check online. See, uh, missing pet sites, see if anybody's posted them missing. We have a Facebook page that we post all of our incoming strays on. We scan for microchips. Um, if they've, of course, got any tags on their collar, we will attempt to contact those numbers. If you find a lost pet in one of the seven cities, Bozer says call 911. The problem? Not everyone will. Instead, they'll bring pets to the Animal Humane Society. It extends the process and takes longer for the pet to be able to get back home with their owner. And in some cases, pets could be transferred way outside of the city to another humane society. They're not looking in cities outside of um, their area where their pet may have been taken. Hoping the message will spread, Bozer thinks these furry animals are ready to go home. We'd love to send pets back home if we could, you know, find the owners for every stray pet that comes in here. That would be the ideal goal. In Maple Grove, Pafu Yang, CCX News. PUPS recommends putting an ID tag on your pets or inserting a microchip.